Okay, so the first thing that we want to do when upgrading our Xiaomi M365 Pro, the first thing we want to do is identify what firmware and what Bluetooth firmware is being used on our device. So initially, we start our Bluetooth up. So Bluetooth needs to be open. Your device has to be powered on. You then go to the Show Me flasher tool so and your location settings does have to be on when you're doing this you then click the search button and your scooter will pop up so it will be something along the lines of me scooter 9412 so i click that and now i'm connected to the device and as you can see here it shows me a few statistical information regarding the device it tells me the bluetooth version the battery management system version um, and also a few other important factors. When you're flashing your custom firmware on this device, you want to ensure that you're using a Bluetooth version which allows for custom firmwares because not all of the Bluetooth versions do. So if you run 0.8, for example, that is where they started stopping a lot of the hacks. So 0.9, you're okay. And point seven, you're okay, and you can happily change your custom firmwares using this app. Another thing to take note of is ensuring that you don't play around with what you don't know. So, if you're changing your battery management system over, you could end up bricking the device. You need to end up, make sure that you know what file is going on to here. So, my version is one point five five. That's my ESC version. So that's my firmware that's currently on this scooter running now. So I'm going to replace my new custom firmware with the same version. The reason why, the same base version, the reason why I'm doing that is just to avoid any kind of contact, contact, excuse me, compatibility issues. Because if you try and do a uh, older model downgrading to a lower firmware you could have been into a couple of issues where you might end up not being able to connect to your mobile phone through bluetooth so we're going to stick with 1.55 the next thing what you're going to do is you're going to go to your browser and i've linked to these websites uh, in the description below as you can see here i'm on m365.botox.bz now this is a custom firmware toolkit for the Show Me Me M365. Now you'll notice that it doesn't say Pro on here, and that's true. This does not account for the Pro. So in this firmware patcher, you will only find the Eco and Normal mode. There is no Sports mode because it doesn't account for the Pro. Now that's okay, we could still do that, we could still use it. However, you'd be effectively just changing up two modes and you'd have your third mode as usual. So. Although this page is useful, it's not the one you're gonna to wanna to use if you, you're using the Pro. So over to the left here, I have, here, this is the Russian Beta Pro custom firmware toolkit. So as you can see here, you've got a few options now. So the first one we're gonna go for is a 1.55, like I said to you earlier, the ESC version is 1.55, that's my base version. You're then given the option of changing your minimum curve speed so like it says here if you don't want that on just put 30. i've left mine at 30 because i don't want to have that on and curves is basically the kinetic energy recovery system so when you're braking you're basically getting energy back into itself and it's the automatic brakes when it goes above speeding maximum speed in sports mode so for example, I've put mine at 40 here. They recommend 30 to 31 of a one increase. However, I put mine at 40 and I've been loving it. Um, change the current in sports mode. So as you can see, I've edited a few of the values in, in this field. I've put my max phase current to 60,000 and my sports max battery current to 27,200. Now those were recommended figures that I didn't just randomly come up. Originally started at 55,000 and 22,000. And so you can see I've increased the first one by five and the second one by five. 
Now, you can go online and you can search. There's a lot of websites out there that have already discussed this and they've already considered what is the best combination. So it's something you have to do a bit of research. And those values I found have worked for me. They may work for you, but you need to consider your weight and other factors. The current raising coefficient. So how fast the current is applied. So your speed up rate. I have increased that by 50. And I reckon that you should do that also, but at a very incremental rate. So you don't want to just go from 500 to a ridiculously high number. That is not the the point behind this. The point behind this is to gradually build up to find a comfort level because everything is a cross in in um it's a cross between your lifetime span that you're going to get out of your motor and your battery and the performance that it will give to you over that time. So you want to find the balance in between. Okay, so you've also got the option for a boot with eco mode. So I personally like that. I like my scooter to always be in eco mode when I start up. The reason why is because I find it just more systematic. So now that you've done that, and obviously you can play around, you can see what settings there are. Um, most of them are pretty self-explanatory. Once you have completed that, you need to go to the bottom of the screen and you click the button here, which says patch. This will generate the custom firmware for you and will download it in your browser. Okay. and. What you can see here is not an example of what actually happens. This is because I've had my page open for quite a while now. So it's obviously affected some of the functions of the website. A simple restart and then straight through again will hopefully get that sorted.